Hello everyone, thank you for joining Remote Sensing and GIS question and assessment series. In today's question, we'll see how we can able to calculate the normalized difference water body index that is NDWI. So the NDWI first developed by the MC Peters in 1996. So this is the formula for the calculation of normalized different water body index. So green minus NIR divided by green plus NIR. So we're going to use these bands. So if you are using the Landsat 8, you can use this band 3 and band 5 of Landsat 8 data. If you're using Landsat 5, you can use band 2 and band 4. But I'm using the Sentinel data set. So I'm going to calculate the NDWI using the Sentinel 2 data set. So I will use the band 3 and band 8. So if you'll see here, this is the, these are the bands. If you'll see the band number 3 is a green and band number 8 is NIR. So we are going to use this green and NIR band. So how we can able to calculate this, that we'll see. So I have already downloaded this Sentinel-2 data set. If you want to know how to download that Sentinel-2 data set, you can able to visit the Scopernicus Open Access Hub. How to download the data, I will add link in the description box. From here, you can able to access the video and you can able to download the Sentinel data set. So I have already added, so I will go to calculation of NDWI. So how to add the data set that we'll see first. So I will discard this. And if you want to add any raster data, I just need to click on the layer then add layer and add raster layer. Okay. So here you will see the raster data set option is there. So from here, I will just come back. After downloading the data set, when you will extract, you will see this kind of data set, the Sentinel data set. So we just need to click here. Then again, need to click here and then, and then need to click on the granules. Then again, need to click here. And these are the image data is there. In the image data, we are going to use the band three and band eight. So I will select the band three and band eight. Just click on the open, click on the add and close. This way very easily we can add the data set. So after that we, now we are going to use this formula G minus NR. So green, minus NIR divided by green plus NIR. So click on the raster calculator. Okay. In the raster, there is a raster calculator. So here is the formula we need to apply. So just take the bracket and in that bracket, we need to add this band number three is my green, then minus band number eight, that is my NIR. So again, divided by, take the bracket, and again, band number three plus band number eight. Again, need to close the bracket. And here we need to provide output location is where I want to save this file. So I'll click on the field folder and I will just save here by the name of NDWI and just click on the save. Now, after that, we just need to click on the OK option. So now our NDWI is prepared here. So if you we'll go here, you will see NDWI more than zero indicating the water body, less than zero indicating the non-water surface. And the negative value entity are representing a muddy water or land surface. So for that, now we can go to properties and we can click on the single pseudo color. From here, you can change your color ramp if you want. And click on apply. So if you want to change the color of this, you can change the color. Okay. Then apply and okay. So if you want to export only the water body from it or any area, so you can just go to again raster calculator, then select this NDWI, then greater than zero. Okay. So I will add zero here. And again, if you want to export water bodies from this, just click on the save and just click on OK. So as we have seen here, the more than zero indicating the water bodies and less than zero indicating the non-water surface. 
So from that, now we have exported this. So where you will see this portion, the indicating that right click will go to the unique values. Just click on the classify. Then I will change the color of this. Okay, apply. So now you will see this one is a water body area. Okay. So this way very easily we can able to prepare the NDWI map and we can export the water body area. Now you can reclassify and you can export this water body area only. So the application, if you'll see for this, we can use this water and agriculture management then drought monitoring and mapping and water stress management of crop to detect the flood event. Okay, we can use this NDWI for these applications. So very easily we can able to prepare this normalized difference water body index. So if you have any doubts in it, you can ask me in the comment sections. Thank you.